Oh, hey, how are you guys doing? Well, I'm actually about to go run errands and I'm gonna bring you along with me. Uh, I got to thinking today, especially with a lot of states adopting open carry or, con or more, more so constitutional carry, a lot of you may have gotten your first gun, you, know, you may start carrying, you might get a little more comfortable with it. And now you may be starting to notice your, notice your surroundings a little bit more, especially where you choose to spend your money. Um, and I'm not gonna pass judgment on anybody where they choose to purchase things or spend money. Um, but this video is just to get you to thinking, maybe, just maybe, with our two-way rights that are constantly you know, being attacked lately, uh, maybe you want to start supporting more businesses that are two-way friendly and possibly not supporting the ones that are not. So I'm going to, as, as I'm running errands today, I'm going to try to show you some pretty common categories of where you may spend money. And I'm going to try to find two businesses that are as nationally known as possible that I have access to in my area and show you, and for the purpose of the video, if I say we like this business, they're fairly two-way friendly. If I say we don't like this business, then they either have local or corporate policies um, that state you can't carry in their in their establishments. Uh, and you know, some a lot of a lot of you might live in places where this doesn't carry the weight of the law. I do, so I think about these things. But yeah, let's just go. Might as well make running errands fun today. So why don't we go take a look and see what we can see, and then I'll talk to you when we get back. All right. Well, this place. This place likes guns. That place doesn't like guns. This place goes on the we like it list. They don't limit carry, whether it's open or concealed. They have good products. Again, they have good people. I have fun shopping. Yeah, so this is a win for the we like this place list. Let's move on. Yeah, this is another one on the list that we don't necessarily hate. However, corporate policy for this place, uh, no carry, whether it's open or concealed. So, unfortunately, with there's better choices out there, this has to go on the we don't like this place list. All right, let's move on. Well, this place, this place kind of falls on the we like it, but we don't like it. Um, they don't say you can't carry a firearm in here. You cannot open carry, but you are able to conceal carry. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a tangent about this place. The thing I don't like about this place is when you shop here, it used to be they had cashiers. Now, they pretty much don't have cashiers at all of them. And so you get to do what used to be their work for them. And then when you're done on your way out the door, they want to check your receipt and give you a performance report on how you on how well you did their job for them. That part I don't like. So I would recommend doing what I do when you when I shop through here, I shop on the phone. And that way, if you can see behind me, they bring it out to your car, put it in your trunk. So thus they're still doing their work, and you don't have to get a performance review on how you did their work. That's my rant on this place. Alright, guys, that's about it for this one. Yeah, that place, we really don't like that place either. They're really expensive. They are totally anti-gun. It's even posted on their door. Uh, just better, there's better places to go. This place, we like this place a little better. Um, you can see that. They have a little better policy as far as firearms. They don't necessarily discourage, they don't, they don't want you to open carry but they're not gonna kick you out for concealed carry uh, compared to some other places. So this falls to me under a little more gun friendly or two-way friendly business. So yeah, we're gonna put this on the, we like this place list. All right, let's move on. <sighs> okay, that place, kind of a gray area. They are a no firearms policy place. So technically falls in a place we don't like. I am a member here though, there are a few things I get, um, and here's where I'm not trying to pass judgment on anybody. Spend your money where you want. Um, me personally, I use this place for a few things. Pet products, love the rotisserie chickens, and a few other things, but pretty much I don't shop here, but again, gray area. So being a little bit of a hypocrite on this particular place, it's not under the I like or I don't like, but just be aware. 
they have a no firearms policy, period. All right, next place. Okay, okay, I know we already kind of touched on this place, but this is, falls under a different category. We already saw a place where I won't get gas. That's under the do not like place. Um, this, we're going to put under the do like place because in all reality, on average, this place is about 20 to 25 cents cheaper than anywhere else I can get gas in town. So even though I don't necessarily care for their firearms policy, this is completely outside. I'm going to put this under the I like this place category. All right, let's move to the next location. And there's too much construction to actually get out, but this place, every single one in my town, we don't like this place. There's better places to get your fuel. All right, this place? I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. I love this place. Man, we should go inside. Uh, finish the video. Uh, this place is extremely 2A friendly, uh, you know, other than, you know, completely different than the other place. So this is definitely on, we like this place. All right, next place. Uh, so that place? Fuck that place. Although that place is normally attached to a place like that, so it kind of makes sense. But still, we don't like these places. Well, everybody, we are back from running errands, and I hope you kind of enjoyed that little illustration of places you may and may or may not want to spend your money. And again, I don't pass judgment on where you want to spend money. I don't pass judgment on the people that work there. I'm sure there's very fine people there. Um, this video is just more getting, getting you to think about if you're going to support 2A, how can you really support 2A and still get the same stuff you purchase on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video. If you did like that video, hope you hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe. Yeah, and I hope to see you in future videos. All right, guys. I guess in this case, shop safe.